All right, well, I heard that today's Zordal was interesting from a couple of people, and then I realized, you know, I haven't done a double Zordal in a while. Why not do yesterday's and today's? So that's what I've got here. I've got yesterday's Zordal on the left there, and today's Zordal on the right. And if you're not familiar with Zordal, or X-Ordal, or Cross-Ordal, as some people like to call it, uh, it's, it's like Wordle, but there's two words on the same grid, so all of the clues that we're gonna get will be for one word or the other. And I've got hard mode turned on, so you'll notice the first word up here is grayed out, and we will reveal one letter at a time as we work our way through the first five guesses. Um, that should be about all you need to know. Now, usually the starting word and the two answer words are somehow related, so that can be a little bit of a hint, which is kind of why we have the, the hard mode thing turned on. So. So, what do we want to start with? I think I'm thinking about doing, oh, do I want to do store? No, I'm going to do media, media, and then maybe cough. We'll see what we do with media. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, there's the good, the E on both of them. There's also the yellow A on both of them. Um, let's follow up with cough. Why not? That's a good uh, 10 letters. I like it because it gets you the, the vowels and some middle of the road consonants. So now, when we want to reuse the yellows, it'll be a little bit easier because the letters that we haven't used yet are the most common letters, so there's gonna be more possibilities using the yellow letters plus some new letters. So, um, now interesting, over here on this one, we've only got the yellow A. And we got the green E, but I mean, as far as yellow, it's just the yellow A. Um, over here, we've got quite a bit. So, what do we wanna do? I mean, we could do something like you know, st um, star, I was gonna say start, but I don't wanna do a double T if we don't know if there's even a T in the word. Oh, and we, we oh, I didn't even notice. So we got the green U up here. Okay, so the second letters over here are E and U. So that is interesting. You know, we could do something like hasty, um, but we know the A isn't gonna be second here, and over here, I mean, the A could be second. We know the A is not gonna be in the same word as the E. Pretty much, I mean, probably. Probably, we don't know that for sure, but probably because, I mean, the E is in one of the words. The other word is gonna have to have some sort of vowel, unless it's only Y's. So that's not terrible, but. No matter what we do on the left in the second spot, it's only going to get us a yellow. So that would be good to do a new letter instead of a letter that we already have. Yeah, so that would make more sense. Because, I mean, we get a yellow, we'd know that letter was in the word. But uh, odds are, you know, if we're guessing, say, an F somewhere in the word, the odds are, if the, even if there's an F in it, we're probably going to get a yellow anyway. So uh, if we guess an A second, then we know it's going to be yellow. We could do something like stack. K is not a great letter, but we do have the yellow C there. Or, or we could go with the, uh, oh, but I was gonna say we could go with the I, but we wanted to use the A from, for the right, didn't we? I don't know, let's do stack, why not? Oh, okay, wow, that was really good, actually. Uh, okay, well, we still haven't found the A. Oh, there's a K, oh, there's a K in both of them. <laughs> Here I was trying not to use the K, and there's a K in both of them, okay. So, Interesting, one of the words is either E-A or U-A. U-A I don't really like, so I'm thinking E-A. Probably not E-A-C-K. The C-K feel like they're gonna go together, but necessarily. If it's E-A-C, it can't be H. So we've still got the C, T, H, and I that we haven't located yet. Could do something like you know, which, but the H isn't at the end, and we know the I isn't second. We know none of those are second, actually. Is there something we can do ICT? Something like that? I mean, something like edict, but we don't want to do that, obviously. And there's no IC or T over here, so what are we going to do over here? We need to find the A. We just don't have much. LK might be good. Something LK? Or RK? But the problem is we need a we need a vowel, and it almost has to have an A before the K, I think, because we can't put what other vowel. Even if we do like an L or an R before the K, 
It feels like it's got to have a vowel there. I'm going to use O as kind of a filler vowel. But we can't have a vowel there unless it's a, you know, a double E, something like that, which doesn't really work. But we could do we could do EK or AK. There could be another E or a Y. But that. Ooh, kayak is possible. That's interesting, actually. It's not good for the left side. But kayak is, is actually possible. Do something... Uh, I was gonna say something like mayor, but there's no M on either of them. It's hey something... Hey... Could do something like layup. We know, oh, but we know there's no L or P over here, though. But we do want to find the U. We could check for a Y. It's not terrible over here. I'm just thinking that would help with possibility of kayak. We don't know about P and L over here. Uh, I don't know. Let's go for that. Ooh, okay. Okay, so, so maybe it is kayak. If it's kayak, then the other one would be L, E. What in the world is this? A, B. Oh, it is going to be kayak because... It, this is going to be an A at the end. It's going to be palindromes. A, B, C, B, A. It's going to be kayak. And the other one is going to be level. Kayak and level. Kayak and level. All right, and then we, got, we have to do both of those over here. Kayak and level. And then I hope we've got enough information because we've only got two guesses left. Uh, although I think maybe if you get one right on your last guess, it gives you a bonus guess, I think. I've never actually seen that happen, but I've heard people say that's a thing. Okay, so we've got the U. Oh, I was thinking we needed to find the U, but we didn't. We've already got the green U up there. That's all right. Uh, so one of them is E is E A or U A. I I, just, I still don't. It's pulse, pulse. Okay, so E A. I like the CK together, but I want to do like CH or, well, no, can't, we could do CH. Right, right, right. E, A, C, A. Oh, the H can't be at the end though. Oh, so it can't be CH. It could be CT. React. React is possible. I'm not sure how that fits with pulse. React. If it was react, then we would have T, U, I, and K. For the other word not in those spots but those are the letters we would have for the other word and oh an h h no no t no t react has the t h u i n k yeah i don't know about that uh u i seems decent but what would what would that be that makes me think of like build or something i don't know i don't know what's going on in this one pulse I mean, A-C-K just seems too good almost, doesn't it? Oh, well, well, quack. Quack works. But then, what would that be? Quack and the other one would be... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that that works. If the T and the H were together, it would have to be like E-T-H or U-T-H. Then I don't know what's going to come at the... And after the H. So I don't think the T and the H go together. I don't think the C, well, the C and the H don't go together either. Which makes me think the H is at the beginning. You could do heart. Heart. Okay, pulse. Heart. Heart is good. Then we have the U. And we've got the CK. Quick. Quick and heart. Pulse. Quick and heart. All right, there we go. Okay, and as usual, we have our AI-generated images that go with the words there. So we have pulse equals quick plus heart. And that is a pretty cool picture there. Very neat. And then ABCBA equals kayak plus level. So they're palindromes, words that are the same forwards and backwards. And a very nice picture with kayak and the, yeah, the horizon is level there. Okay. Well, we had to use all of our guesses, but we got there in the end. So let me know how you did with yesterday's Zordal and today's Zordal and which words you had the hardest time with. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles.
Historians believe that around 49 of the 56 delegates signed the document that day. And one person for sure, Matthew Thornton of New Hampshire. Like what else could, uh, no, fancy. Oh, fancy. Ectopic? Ooh, ooh, that's a, that's a word and a half right there. Hydrange, hydrangea, hydrangea? Okay, wow, turb sweat. <laughs> Don't wanna do the S. Well, we could do, we could do phone, then we could do an S down here. 